Hello guys, and welcome to Mega Man X4, as the announcer dude just said. Um, I'm not going to say what I usually say after starting a Mega Man X game. I'm going to say this instead. There's a few things that I have to go over about this particular Let's Play. But before the, I do that, I'm going to just start and uh, choose my character here. So, I guess I might as well explain this while I'm in this menu. Today, as you will see, there are two videos released. One of both Mega Man X4, Episode 1, however, there's one small difference. In the other video, I've chosen Zero. In this Let's Play, or for this game, I'll be doing a double Let's Play. Since they decided to split this game up to two characters, doing them separately, with separate cutscenes and all that type of stuff, with small differences, I'm going to play the game twice with both characters. So, I'm going to do two episodes a day, one of X, one of Zero. So, that's there's that explained, and there's a, one other thing I have to explain, but I'll, I'll explain that once I get into the game. about the Maverick Hunters, General. They are far too eager to please the humans and continue to hunt down the Reptoids. Do you believe they pose a significant threat? Perhaps. You already know the truth, General. Their sole mission has been to destroy any Reptoids who fail to do as the humans order. Your best interest to stop them now before they turn on you. You possess enough power to destroy them. I will not betray the humans. Remove yourself from my sight. My business with you has concluded. <laughs> Very well. But you will change your mind soon, I assure you. <laughs> That cutscene was kind of quiet, but I blame the game for that. They didn't make it louder. If I had made the game any louder, the whole game would ju would have just been incredibly loud, and then they would have been able to hear that cutscene at a moderately good volume. Hunter HQ. Mavericks have been found at point five five six seven. The Mavericks occupied the Sky Lagoon using the most advanced weapons available. The army appears to be the Rebel Force. Roger that. I'm on my way now. So something I have to explain. You may notice in the cutscenes and that intro there that there's a bit of, uh, like, patchiness. I apologize for that. For this Let's Play, I'm using the Dolphin Emulator. I'm not using, uh, the, uh, whatchamacallit, the Dazzle. Mainly because I just, I needed to, to use the emulator for this particular one because, uh, okay, I'm gonna kill this guy. Because since I'm recording a double Let's Play, it would just take too long for me to render the videos since I have to, you know, I have to get it out of the, uh, what's it called? Pinnacle Studios. Oh, he's dead. And then I also have to put it into rendering, like a movie maker, like what I use, and I have to put everything together. Look at that. Shameless advertising right there. So yeah, there's a bunch of that, and with if I just use this, all I have to do is uh, take the video file. I don't have to sync up any audio because it's already synced up because of fraps. And all I have to do is put it into Movie Maker right away. So it makes it a lot easier on me. It would just, it takes so much longer if I were to uh, um, use the Dazzle. And I want to have this up sooner than later, you know, because I'm, I'm pre-recording all the videos. X, you're Dragoon from the 14th unit. This isn't good, X. That Maverick just destroyed the power reactor. What? Then the Sky Lagoon will come crashing into the ground. It's too late, X. It's time I made my escape. I suggest you do the same. Don't do anything reckless on the way out, okay? The city below will soon become a sea of flames. Many people will perish. Hey, I just finished Sea of Flames. I have no choice but to escape from here and head to the city below. Ready. 
works. Yeah, that's why I'm using an emulator anyway. It just, it's a lot faster. So I can get these out. Because I'm, I'm pre-recording the whole thing. Oh shit, I didn't read any of that. Sorry. I'm sure it wasn't that important. Uh, because since I'm doing a double Let's Play, I need to have everything recorded. I need to record this, I need to record... I don't want to be recording two Let's Plays as I go. I just want to have all the videos recorded and finished. So I don't need to worry about it. Okay, enough of my whole recording issue and my choices. Let's talk about the game. Um, I don't know. When I was young, I got the, uh, the collection, and that's what I'm using to play this. I'm using the Mega Man X collection, which came with the first six games, which were the only X games worth playing, in my opinion. Because X7 was shit, and X8 basically just tried to fix what X7 screwed up. And then anything after that is, like, not even X game. I know they had Command Mission, but it's, it's Command Mission. No one cares about Command Mission. Uh, so obviously, as you can see, it's a lot more different than the old X games. They made a lot of improvements, to, especially to the graphics, and... There's a lot of differences. Okay, who's this? Okay, this is this guy. Also something, I can charge up when I'm when it's in the middle of like a cutscene or or scripted scene. Out of the So to me there's there was the two original trilogy there's the first original trilogy, the X1, 2, and 3, the ones I played, and then they got to the second trilogy, which was the new graphics. This was probably one of the worst. I don't know, it's between X4 and 6, I'm not sure which one was worse. X1, 2, and 3 were all incredibly awesome. Like, there's no, it's hard to judge which one was worse out of them. They were all pretty good. But when the, th when the next three games came out, it was pretty obvious which of the three was the best. X5 is definitely the best out of the, fir the, the second three games. Who are you? I'm the Colonel of the Repo Force. Has the Repo Force been occupying this area? What are you talking about? I only came to save my sister. The army responsible for all the violence in this region is not the Repo Force. Nevertheless, I want you to disarm and follow me back to the HQ. That seems like a perfectly reasonable uh, recommendation, but then this guy's all like, Never! You're asking me to s my soldiers to drop their weapons. The only time we drop our weapons is when we aren't able to fight any longer. But you will be regarded a maverick and treated as such. Do as you will, the Repo Force would sooner fight and die than discard our pride. Consider us mavericks if this is what you wish. Wait, calm down, Colonel. Like, what's wrong with this guy? Dumbass. We just wanted to talk. But the, something's got to give, otherwise the entire Repo Force will be considered to be mavericks. There's a lot of, like, screwed up uh, graphics, and I apologize for that, but... Okay, I'll make a new save here. But there isn't much I can do. Like I said, I, I need to uh, I need to use this. Okay, here's another cutscene. Brave soldiers of Repliforce. We have all been wrongfully judged as mavericks by the humans. We cannot suffer this indignity and live in disgrace. We will build our own nation of Reploids. But remember, this is neither about insurrection nor rebellion against our human creator. This is about our liberty and security. We must battle for our own individual rights and our own survival. Together we will build our nation, a sanctuary for all Reploids, our own utopia. Let us forge onward towards a new golden era for the Reploforce. Wow, the patchiness kind of just stopped there. I too share the general sentiment. Take heed, we have no other choice. Let us fight valiantly, with courage and pride. Without fear, for we are the Reploforce. The most powerful army in history! Yeah! <laughs> Voice acting in this game was so bad. <laughs> the general has finally taken action. And now my maverick hunters, what will you do? I'll be watching closely from here on out. <laughs> Sigma was okay, but I don't know. I feel like the, whoever had the role of Sigma enjoyed his job a little bit too much, and then everyone else didn't care enough. Who are you? 
Call me Double, the Rookie Hunter. My liege, the Repa Force has begun its coup. Wait, Colonel, you're jumping to conclusions here. Sir, you've been given the order to scramble. Right, I'm leaving right now. The animations weren't that I interested too. Why does X look so annoyed at this guy? Infiltrate enemy occupied jungle and destroy the weapon under construction. Cyrus Ace bug has corrupted the network. Dive into Cyrus Ace and extreme exterminate it. They were so specific. It's like, do this for this place, do this. Like, they never did that in X1, 2, and 3. They're like, here are the places, go to them. The Repa Force ship is taken off. Pursuit. Like, they have so much more story in the next games. They just, they kind of made too much story in X4. Like, it's like, Jesus. Dragoon of the 14th unit is a traitor. Locate and bring him back to the Hunter HQ. And when did that happen? Like, jeez. Marine base, Repa Force decimated the city and left pursue, pers oh, Marine base, pursue them aboard a land chaser. The abandoned lab is now operational. Investigate and destroy the lab. A military train is moving supplies. Cut off the Repa Force's supply route. We've discovered a hidden snow base. Halt production of the new weapon. Ah, I should see how long I've been recording for. It probably hasn't been that long, but with all those cutscenes and stuff. Hold on, sorry about this. I can't even tell how long we've been recording. Yeah, it won't tell me. Damn. I don't know how long I've been recording. I don't want to start a new thing. You know what, maybe I should just end the episode there. I know we didn't do too much. There wasn't a, mo a lot of gameplay. It was mostly cutscenes and such, but... What are you gonna do? I'll probably do the same thing for Zero. Like, I haven't recorded Zero yet, but... I don't know, like... You can watch either one. This is the thing. I'm recording this one first, obviously. I'll be pre-recording all of it, like I said. And I'm recording this one first, and then I'll be recording Zero, but you could watch either one first. So I'm probably gonna have to explain the same thing as I did in this when I record zero. I'll have to say exactly the same thing. So if you're watching this one first and I say zero, like I explain the same thing in, in, in zeros, just you could watch whatever one first and you should probably have an explanation into which one first. I'll probably be saying exactly the same thing in zero as I am in this one. So, you know, what are you going to do? Anyway, uh, next episode, we're going to go after the, uh, the snow base, the walrus guy, because he's the easiest one to beat without any like power ups and stuff. So next episode we will go to the snow base see you guys then